Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about medical coding question which contains medical terminology and anatomy physiology. Some simple questions but uh, tricky questions. So let's uh, start the video. First question is which of the following is located beneath the diaphragm in the left upper quadrant of the abdominal cavity. Our abdominal cavity is divided into four quadrants. Right and left, upper and lower quadrants. So, here is the image. Our abdominal is divided into four quadrants. Left upper quadrant, left lower quadrant, right upper quadrant and right lower quadrant. So, in, the, in our question, uh, it is mentioning about left upper quadrant. So, left upper quadrant is this. So, given options are appendix, duodenum, gallbladder, pancreas and spleen. So, duodenum is in the right upper quadrant. Appendix is present somewhere here in the right lower quadrant. Gallbladder is also here in the right upper quadrant. Pancreas are present in the right upper quadrant only. Spleen, spleen is present in the left upper quadrant. So, in this figure, here you can see the spleen. So, spleen is present in the left upper quadrant of the abdominal cavity. So, these are the four regions of the abdominal cavity and the organs present in different quadrants of the abdominal cavity. Answer is spleen. Spleen is present in the left upper quadrant of the abdominal cavity. Next question is, next these are the abbreviations and these are the full forms of the given abbreviation, COPD. So, these abbreviations, you, uh, these abbreviations are asked in the medical coding interviews also. So, these abbreviations are COPD. COPD means Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. COPD. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. DVT. DVT means deep vein thrombosis. GERD. GERD is also known as GERD. Gastroesophageal reflex disease. NEC means not elsewhere classified. NOS. NOS means not otherwise specified. HIV, Human Immunodeficiency Virus, AIDS, Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome, and STEMI, Non-ST Elevated Myocardial Infraction. So, these are the abbreviations and these are the full forms of the given abbreviations. Next is, which of the following is structural fibrous protein found in the dermis? So, what is dermis? Dermis is a layer of the skin. So, these are the options. Collagen, heparin, liposite, melanin and sebum. So, the answer is collagen. Because collagen is the structural and fibrous protein found in the dermis. And what is heparin? Heparin is a blood protein, coagulating protein. Next, liposite. Liposite means, lipo means fat, site means cell, fat cell. So, it is not a structural fibrous protein. Melanin. Melanin is a a protein present in the skin which gives the color. So, it is not the structural form of structural protein of the dermis. Next one is sebum. Sebum means sweat. So, the answer is collagen. If you don't know the answer, we can just eliminate these and we can find out the answer as collagen if you don't know the direct answer. Next one question is which of the following is the large bone found superior to the patella and inferior to the ischium? So, what is the largest bone in the body? It is femur. Femur is a thigh bone which is superior to patella means above the patella. This is the patellar, patellar bone. Patella bone or kneecap or patellar joint means knee joint is called as patella. So, this is the patella and above the patella is the thigh bone or femur. So, uh, in the question, large bone found superior to the patella and inferior to the ischium. So, ischium is a bone which is present in the hip, pelvic region. So, the answer is femur, which is the largest bone in the body which is found superior to patella and inferior to ischium. Which of the following is the point at which an impulse is transmitted from one neuron to another neuron? So, what is the space between 
one neuron to another neuron where the impulse is transmitted. So the answer is synapse. So synapse is a gap junction between two neurons where the impulse is transmitted through the neurotransmitters. So this junction is called as synapse. The answer is synapse. Next, the thoracic gauge is a structural unit important for which of the following functions? So, thoracic, uh, thoracic gauge. What are the options? Alimentation, menstruation, mentation, respiration, urination. So, this is the thoracic gauge. This thoracic gauge is, is important for which of the following function? Answer is respiration. While you are breathing, the thoracic gauge is elevated or depressed depending upon the inspiration or expression of the respiratory process. So, thoracic gauge is helpful in the process of respiration. Next, the term lithiasis is best described by which of the following? Answers are constriction of the tissue, dissolving, abnormal condition of stones, penetrating a cavity, stretching of tissue. So, what is the term lithiasis mean? Asis means it is the abnormal condition. Lith, lith means stone. So, the term only tells it is the abnormal condition of the stones. So, the answer is abnormal condition of the stone. Lith means stone. Asis means abnormal condition. Lithiasis means abnormal condition of the stones. Which of the following is a term for abnormally large breasts in men? The answer is gynecomastia. Gynecomastia means abnormally large breasts in men. Next, the prefix pertaining to fingernail in which of the following terms? So, Fingernail is best described with a prefix. What prefix is that? Onic. Onic. So the answer is onic. Onco means oncology. It describes about oncology. All fact means re regarding smell. So the answer is onic. Onic means fingernail. Inflammation of a sweat gland is known as which of the following terms. So, here inflammation is given. My means it is dispensed with the term itis. So, in all options itis is there. So, sweat gland. Gland means what do you, what is the term, medical term for gland? Adin. So, here adin is there. Sweat means hydra. So, the answer is, so the answer is hydradinitis. Hydra means sweat, adin means gland, itis means inflammation. So next is, which of the following suffixes means cutting operation? Cutting means incision. Incision, incision is best described by which option? The ectomy means removal. Of ectomy means surgical removal. Plasty means repair. Scopy means viewing into an organ. Stomy means artificial opening. It is not an opening. It is a cutting operation. Stomy means cutting. Incision. The answer is stomy. Which of the following is the term for reconstruction of the ear drum? Reconstruction means plasty. So, here plasty terms are there. So, uh, this is not the answer. Autoplasty or tympanoplasty. Auto means ear. It, uh, it does not represent ear drum. Tympano means ear drum. So, the answer is tympanoplasty. Tympanoplasty. So, here it is the eardrum. This is the eardrum. So, the ear is, this is the perforated eardrum. It is the repair of the eardrum. So, this is called as tympanoplasty. Surgical reconstruction of the eardrum. Which of the following processes is indicated when an abnormal growth is identified on a barium enema x-ray study? Enema is given to clean our intestine. To clean our intestine. So, what is the term that describes intestine or related to digestive system? Orthoscopy. Ortho means joints. Bronco means 
bronchus lung colon means colonoscopy colon so the answer is this colonoscopy is related to digestive system intestine so the answer is colonoscopy a patient scheduled for echo encephalography will undergo a study of which of the following so echo encephalography encephalo cephalo means head so it is related to brain the answer is brain which of the following terms describes surgical fixation of uterus in a suspended position the term for surgical fixation is pexy so here uh, where uh, he in this answer in this option pexy is there in this option pexy is there so it is the answer hysteropexy surgical fixation of a suspended uterus is called hysteropexy answer is hysteropexy scopy means to viewing inside the uterus 